Greetings, and thank you for coming to support us by watching today's video. If you would like to support us even more, you can do so by clicking on the like button, posting a comment down below, and of course, if you would like to see more videos like this, make sure to click that subscribe button. Okay, so back here at Princess Agatha, let's see Need something? Um, if we can right get some more challenges done. Whose soul will you touch? So we know we have four options, so let's try a grudge that won't budge. The undead princess is working hard at her new job catching travelers and inviting them to Charlotta's Sherla solace when Milady shows up. Shalada insists the, enlists the undead princess's help in banishing yet another undying spirit. We'll take it. But you have such a long road ahead of you, no? You're doing pretty good there so far, Brandon. That nice little inn over there. Oh, um, You've done it before. You played the game Thank before, you. right? I'm not tired. And I need to cross the ridge by nightfall. Ugh, you know what? <laughs> oh, really? Strength fading. Ugh. Yeah, I guess the Undead Princess hasn't really no, figured this out yet. The pooch. Well, no one's gonna blame me for helping young people go green, right? Hey, any luck drawing in customers? Oh, if by no. um getting customers you mean knocking them out like a light? Huh? What's the matter with him? Looks like he's already got one foot in the grave. Yeah. yeah. Uh. I'll bet you he's just hungry, right? You'd better take him back to the inn. On the double. Hmm. Okay. Refia, get this young man set up with the meal. Undead Princess and I are gonna check out that lead. Sure. Good luck. And watch each other's backs out there. Indeed. So, uh, what exactly is this lead we're chasing? Oh. Yeah. There's been talk of a really obnoxious mirage haunting these parts. From what I hear, it's just as irritating as you used to be. Which means you have to it. And you're helping. Well, why don't you tell me how you really feel about me? In here, I thought you cared. Boo! -hoo. Come on, Death Breath. Hey, Death you Breath. <laughs> so well, where is this thing? Then? Swank. The ground here is nice and damp. You couldn't ask for better turf to work up a grudge. Really? I never thought this region would be prime real estate for mirages like yourself. Yeah. Who goes there? Well. Who has come to trespass upon my domain? This land is mine. Be gone at once. <laughs> the princess is freaked out. I also have more reason to be freaked out of whatever this rich, is. But I've got lots of courage. Hardy wow. Har, you remembered the rich lich joke. So is this your passive aggressive way of telling me you want me to give you some money? Maybe. <laughs> okay, very well. Here's one gill. Woohoo! One gill. Now I can buy. Hey, wait! I can't buy anything with this. Uh, look out! Hey, hold yeah. on! Yeah. This discussion isn't over. Actually, it is. I'm saying that we're moving on. And I think I'm a bit too strong here because these guys are getting their worlds rocked rather easily. Keep going after him because he got countered. But yeah, I think it's safe to say we got this one in the bag. I mean, given the overpowering that we got in that one fight... Against the Marlboro Menace and the Flam Princess, I'm not surprised that we can kick this trio of Metallic Skulls from pillar to post. Oh, that takes care of them. And that's 2,700 experience points, which it doesn't even really raise that much in terms of our points, but Blood Eye came just that close to actually gaining a level. <laughs> Three Phoenix Downs out of that. I well, I, it it all depends on um, who is playing the game, though. 
At least they had the good sense to disappear in the end. Yeah, sure did. <sighs> so why is it you can't find the grace to just fizzle out? What? Ouch. Why would you say something like that? You don't like having me around? I wonder. Maybe you'll pass away properly if I work you a little bit harder. If that's cool, we should head back and check on our guest. Uh, oh, okay. Hey, listen. I'm pretty useful to have around. Did you know I can do tricks? Yeah. Yeah, I think we already saw one of those tricks already. Funny faces. Don't quit your day job. Don't quit your day job. But yeah, I don't think that's really an issue there, Brandon. I mean, you're pretty, um, anyone will pretty much say what they want to about the game. And whatever game it is that they're playing. And I highly doubt that anyone would be not interested in watching you play Final Fantasy X if they weren't already a fan of the game. Hi, right, Princess Agatha. Good morning. What now? Actually, it's evening. Whose soul will you touch? Well, let's see if we can't move on to the next challenge. Underdog Day. Alright, we got our first two-star challenge. Underdog Day is a long-standing pirate tradition, for on this day, any Swabble can challenge their boss for the title of captain. Today, Mog, one of the coup pirates, decides to finally unseat Ferris from her throne. He casts the ancient forbidden spell. Ooh, interesting. Well, let's see our first two-star challenge. All right, you scoundrels. Do you all remember what day it is? It's Underdog Day, Koopa! Aye, when any pirate can challenge his betters. Only the strongest can captain us. Do any of you have the pom-poms to dispute me? <laughs> Today is the day you answer to Captain Mog, Koopa! Oh, well, aren't you full of fire? So what have you got for me this time? I Why don't we find out? Forbidden spell, Koopa! Captain, you're shark bait, Koopa! Koopa, Koopa, Koopa! Musical slumber? That's it. Koopa? That's strange, Koopa. Oh, it was Koopa Bo! And not Koopa! <laughs> Whoa, you summoned a free! Yikes! Which of you wretched fools summoned me away? Okay, I can see why this is two stars. Don't you Koopo me, fool. You didn't know what it was? Apparently not. You're the one who dragged me to this place? Oh boy, this ain't gonna go over well. This is not gonna go over well. Underdog day, is it? Sounds like my kind of diversion. Very well. I shall be your opponent, human one. This ship of yours, all of you, soon you will bow down before Ifrit is your master. Yeah, we'll see about that. That isn't fair, Koopo. If it wasn't for me, you would be... <laughs> Indeed we shall. Come on, you animal. And it's on. And no, if Fred is not cute. When did you little half pints get here? Well, stronger. Shouldn't you be ready to prove it? <laughs> yeah, indeed. Once you have felt my true wrath, you'll regret those words. Well, why don't we find out? I do Why have the ability to. Anyway? Oh, Dark Horse Day would sound a hundred times cool. I guess that's a reasonable question. When did you learn a fancy expression like Dark Horse? Since yeah, we're having this right, conversation while Day? Tifa is about to kick oh, some ass. Great idea. So yeah, we're just Why having a casual conversation head. while Tif Tifa goes and kicks the fleet's ass. Maybe he doesn't even know what Dark Horse means after all. Why me? I will okay. say though that these conversations go a little bit too long. To the credits, I mean, that that is, uh, conversation's going a bit too long. 
And when the dust settles, 2295. Good enough for at least a third of its health. Oh, we can even score 900. Ooh, Hellfire and Brimstone. Yeah, I'd say we pissed him off. A thousand points. Wow. Yeah, even with even if we didn't use Tifa, we're still kicking his ass. Yeah, some two-star challenge this turned out to be. Well, that, that do wasn't it. so bad. You're right, it wasn't. That was the first two-star challenge, and it wasn't even worth it. Well, maybe it was worth it to get the Mega Phoenix, but that was pretty much it. I will spare your lives, but remember this lesson well. And so away goes the freaks. Is he gone now, Kubo? <laughs> Well, no, Ferris is enjoying this. That's what I call a challenge, Mog. But don't go slinging spells without knowing what they do. Exactly. That's, say, Koopa. That's why I don't taste the food I cook, Koopa. Well, you what? should. The muck from your galley makes me want to jump overboard. And so yeah, with that first two-star challenge gone and not really being much of a threat, let's go ahead and save again. And it's like, is that the best you can do? Cause so far I'm not all that impressed. I haven't even had to heal yet. That's the amazing thing, I haven't even had to heal yet. Want some tea? Ah, I'd rather fight. But the but the offer is appreciated. Alright, so we can only take one more. So let's go ahead. Oh, this is a one star. But that's a two star. And then, of course, there's this. So we got the one star or the two star. Um, Let's just take the one star for now. Um, Known as a duo of three. Tom Barry, the Coliseum Master, calls upon the only two he can rely on to help resolve an emergency in his domain. And wait, what might this emergency be exactly? What do you say we go find out? What dire circumstances? I'm going to need both their help. Hey, your tickets, please. What's the cactuar doing here? You, Kubo? And I knew that you would, my old friends. <laughs> so let's hear it. What's wrong, Ton Dog? Oh, hmm? did I just hear you refer to me as Ton Dog? What's this? Yeah, he did. Tony Poo. Wait. Tony Poo. Since when have you called me such ghastly names? Since when he says, "Listen to you. We just started now." Don't you know? <laughs> the best of friends always give each other fun nicknames, Koopa. That's what we are, Koopa. Ton, bro. Now, hold on. <laughs> I don't even know where to begin. I mean, let's say I called you two. Cat Toodle. Mookie Pie. Can you imagine it? You'd die of shame. Not at all, Ton, buddy. I <laughs> Ton Chops. Uh, you win. Call me what That's quite you hilarious, mean. actually. As long as they're not the kind of nickname that you have to squeak. So now that we've gotten that out of the way. Oh, what a pickle. So this Colosseum, which hides within a strange and mysterious mist that can connect it to whole other worlds. Was suddenly struck by an unexpected and chaotic phenomenon that caused a bunch of mirages to run amok. Right, Koopa? <sighs> Sounds about right. Thank you for the exposition. So now <laughs> that you know the problem, I would very much appreciate your assistance. I'm sure he would. So, what do you bestow it upon him? Hmm? All right then. We're waiting for an answer. Cat Toodle, Monkey Pie. <laughs> That's really all he had to do. 
Wow. Darn tootin, Koopo. Friends stick together, Koopo. Uh, yes. Uh, thank you. Man, oh man. Well, now it's time to fight whatever they wanted us to fight. Get ready. Yeah. Which are these three things? Um, you know what these are, right? Well, if nothing else, I get an opportunity to capture, um, the Goblin Guard. Or just let him die. That works too. Six point counter. And that takes care of that. Yawn. Just 130 gil for my trouble. Oh, there's another round. So this gets progressively harder then? Next. Right! All aboard now! You can do this all day? You better hope you can. Alright, smack the knack. <laughs> See what I did there? Then crush the cockatrice. And then declaw the claw. And he's almost dead. Correction, he is dead. Alright, so that's round two. Good job there, Brandon. You are gonna make this harder, right? Well, here's round three. Four of them, huh? Including the Goblin Guard. You can't move your arms. Wait, that's normal, huh? Well, let's eliminate the Goblin Guard. Oh, critical hit! You better believe I am enjoying that. Down goes Yaraman. Deathbeak does not prove to be deadly. Which means I should probably kill the Cockatrice first, just in case he can kill me. Yeah, so far I'm just smacking around Good a whole job. bunch of cute little mirages, and that's pretty much it. Tell me there's a boss at the end of this. Well, don't offer me congratulations there yet, Miguel. You know... Well, maybe now you can. Just me? Or are these mirages running away from something? So they're not just acting up, Koopa? Hmm, you're right. I get the distinct impression that we're getting in their way more than vice versa. I feel like I know that voice that the Cactuar is using. opponents have been getting steadily stronger. <sighs> oh, <sighs> I know I'm tough, but even I'm starting to feel the burn here. Hot dang! Oh, let's stack, Koopa. Stack. Oh, I know. I, mean, I know who that is. Can do it. We can too, Koopa. You're right. They do get a lot stronger when they stack, now, don't they? So the cac the voice of the cactuar conductor the is the leader, voice Koopo? of the mayor from the Powerpuff we Girls. Paper scissors for it, Koopo. Me and the cat do it all the time, Koopo. Are you sure? Yeah, go ahead. Rock, paper, Koopo. Guys, how are we supposed to figure out who won? Good point. Our hands aren't made for this. <laughs> <laughs> Settled. Your new leader will assign the positions, Koopo. You have nothing to say about this. All right. Okay, here we Koopo. I must say, my head's getting kind of itchy. I can't move. Why you? Oh, Tifa, what? What are you doing here? How does Master expect this to help me train? Wait, is that a human? Summer Salt. <laughs> I guess Stephen's gonna kick some arm and ass. Now we know what got into the mirages. The young lady is a bona fide public menace. Yes, I would agree. Okay, then we have to stop her, Koopo. Wait, but we have to fight Tifa? I'll take you all on. Let's do this. Meteor strike. Oh. Yeah, they got blown out of the water. She's too powerful. Oh, hey, I have an idea, Koopo. What's that? Whisper, whisper. Whisper, whisper. Right then. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. Oh, it's on. It is, isn't it? Or it is, is it? Come on, 
and try and get me. I'm talking to you, fighter girl. Huh? Not you again. Beat it, Captor. Hey, listen to the mayor. Huh? I missed? <laughs> you think you know how to train? I am a train. I mean, I run one. Let's go. Neener, neener, neener. I'm right here. <laughs> wow. Tonberry in the house. Meanwhile, while this conversation is going on, I'm checking to see the cast list of the Powerpuff Girls, see who played the mayor. That didn't feel good. Now, friends. Summit time! Mogwini! Kubo! We did it! KO! <sighs> I send this young lady back to Britain. I think she just gave up. I, I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. That the three of us make one dashing duo, Kubo. Indeed. Uh. I was not paying attention to that at all. But it was enough to earn a trophy. But yeah, I need to. I need to look at the. I need to um, look this up on Wikipedia. Who played the mayor of Talonsville? Tom Kenny. Really? It's Tom Kenny, the voice of SpongeBob SquarePants? Oh, what a letdown! The Tom Kenny, huh? <laughs> so, yeah, apparently Tom Kenny is also the voice of the character our conductor in that one particular cutscene. And I'm gonna need to look back at the end of that particular cutscene to figure- to see what happened to Tifa if the three of them actually beat her. Or if there was, or if she just decided to tank it and make it look like they won. But yeah, really, Tom Kenny?